Hi folks, I'm Matteo Collina. Today we are going to set up a very simple type safe Fastify application. Let's get started. To start a new project, we need a new folder. So let's go and create one. So type safe, make dear, type safe, Fastify. Then we enter this folder and we uh, initialize a new npm project. It's now time to install a few dev dependencies. So uh, npm i dash dash save dash dev TypeScript. Then we want the generic TS config for Fastify. So Fastify TS config. And finally, add type slash node for generic node stuff. And we have added our dev dependencies. And now we add our, our main depends, our main depths. So what are the main depths? Uh, the main depths are Fastify. And what we will need is another module called Fastify Autoload to load our routes. Then we want, um, what do we want? Oh, yeah, we want Fastify uh, uh, type provider type box to provide the type safe magic. And those are uh, downloading and installing via NPM as usual. And as usual, they take a little bit of time. Here we go, we have them. Now we uh, open up our editor and we need to uh, uh, to create a new tsconfig.json file. Here we, we specify extends and we want to say that we want to extend fastify tsconfig. Then we want to specify some compiler options and here we want the out directory to be build for example or this, you can use what you want, to be honest. Uh, and then uh, what we need, uh, we need the lib, okay? And uh, typically I put down ES2018 here, but you can do uh, what you want. And then we need to put the target, which is again ES2018. So after we have done this, uh, after we have done this, uh, what do we do? We open up a server.ts and we can write this up and now we can import uh, Fastify from Fastify. Cool. And we can create our server and then our server.get we create a very basic route which returns a low word and finally we call server.listen. I don't know TypeScript still, uh, sorry, Compiler still haven't learned the new auto-completion, the, the new syntax for, uh, for for listen. And here we can just remove those because we don't need them right now. Well, but this is a TypeScript file, so we can't really run it. So what we do here, we need to open up our package JSON, uh, the build script, and we run, we, re we remove uh, the build folder, and then we can rerun TSC. And now let's try uh, our build command and we do npm run build and uh, then we can we can go inside build and there is a there is our server.js file and we do server.js not server.js and then we can try curl it localhost 3000 and yeah it's working as expected cool now what i typically want to do though is npm run build dash 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 watch so that this keeps watching things so we don't need to worry about uh, compiling anything um, so after we've done this it's time to start working for you know type safe uh, uh, fastify right because this is just a very basic route so it's now time to create our first routes so we create our routes folder and in there we create a root.ts file for all our all our routes of the root endpoint. In here, we go and import uh, a new module called uh, Fastify uh, Type Provider Type Box. Uh, box. Here we go. Okay. And here we need the uh, Fastify async, uh, uh, Fastify plugin async type box. Here we do const plugin uh, Fastify async's uh, uh, type box a plugin async type box and then we export it as a default here of course we need to specify something and we need to do fastify.get for example the route and we want to what we want here we want to specify the schema and oh 
I think I forgot a dependency. So I need to add uh, Sinclair uh, type box to my dev depths, to my dependencies. Sorry. Here we go. And now, here, what we do, we can import type from Sinclair type box. And here in schema, we can specify, for example, the response. And this will go into 200, which would be a type object, a low TypeScript, type, type string, and then we can close this up. Now here we can do return and, you know, a low word. Yeah, this would work as expected, but we never read the request or response, right? Uh, but note that if I do, for example, if I remove, uh, if I remove this, this will start complaining because it will tell me that it's, uh, uh, it needs, I need to return a low string. So I need to do a low word, right? So now we need to uh, register this, uh, make this endpoint load. So instead of doing this, what we can do, we can import a, something called autoload from oh, fastify slash autoload and then do server.register autoload and we want to produce, use the dear name and slash routes. Okay, so we have created our loading of routes and our routes are here. Okay, so now if I go and do node build index dot uh, server dot js and I can curl localhost oh, 3000 and this will work. And now it's time to do that, for example, a little bit of a query string. So we can we do a query string of uh, a type uh, object, for example, and we want the name and it needs to be a type string. Um, type string. And we want to specify a default of called word. Okay. And now here we can we have our request and we can just do const name from request.query and just specify the name here. And as you can see, this is completely uh, type safe now. So if I go and restart my application, I can now curl this a word and then do name Matteo. And oh yeah, of course I always forget to put this. And uh, now I can do hello Matteo or hello uh, folks. Yeah, nice, right? Okay, and it just works, right? It's nothing else to do. It, you can also apply this uh, same technique using, uh, for, for, for example, bodies or headers. Just It will just work. And it's a great, great way to produce, to, to write type safe uh, APIs. And you can just try it out. Oh, but there is one more thing that we can cover. So something that you could do here in, in server.js, for example, is uh, we could use, uh, we could actually use this to generate um, automatic uh, Swagger configuration. So now we had, for example, npm i fastify Swagger or open API, whatever you need. And once we have added this, we could do imp, oh yeah, we also need fastify Swagger UI. And here we then we can go uh, Swagger and we need Fastify Swagger and then import Swagger UI from Fastify Swagger UI. Then we go and register Swagger and then we register Swagger UI. And then we can uh, this compiles correctly and then we can rely on some server and let's see what that looks like, right? We open our browser and we can go to localhost uh, 3000 and document slash documentation. And now you can see that we have our route root endpoint with a get, with a name, and we can return our default uh, response, which is a low word. And it has this parameter that can be specified as the query. Pretty great, right? We have a type safe on the server. We can have our open API client created for us and that can be type safe too. So 
is uh, type safe all the way. And that's all, folks. We have created a tiny Fastify application that is completely type safe. So that is uh, parameters, query string, body, headers can be uh, validated at uh, both at uh, build time, compile time, and also they can be checked at runtime using uh, all the nice features of Fastify, such as JSON scheme. So it's the best of both wo of both worlds. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, check out uh, my channel and uh, uh, please support me. So uh, if you subscribe, it will be great. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.